why it two by four compares to a now unajua vile wanasemanga ya ukienda kwa wageni ya you do what they do now before I introduce you to everybody else let's talk to the vice chancellor of Mary University his name is Romanas Odiambo and he's been very kind to invite us today so let's have a word or two with him today how are you doing today how are you feeling oh very well very well welcome <laughs> to Mary University of Science and Technology mm -hmm. that we love so much yes uh, we are very happy to have you here. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want you to feel at home. Mm -hmm. We want you really to talk to Kenyans, the young people, and everybody about Mary University of Science and Technology. That is correct. Yeah. All right, so I understand um, uh, most with a single you, yes? It's yeah. not the Kaka Mega one, yeah. Yes. It's most with a single you. Yes. was launched uh, back in 2010. How has the institution evolved since then until now? What are some of the changes that have been made and how have you guys grown? Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Actually, MOOS started in 2009. Oh, all right. With uh, 45 students. Mm -hmm. And they were staying in uh, somebody's home just next to the border, here, at the <laughs> boundary here. Somebody's right. home. That's where they were sleeping, that's mm -hmm. where they were taking the breakfast. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we did do some prefabs yeah. where we brought them in and started staying here. Mm -hmm. So at that time, it was uh, Mary University uh, uh, College of Science and Technology as a constituent college of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture mm -hmm. and Technology. Mm -hmm. We started growing slowly up to 2013, mm -hmm. March. Mm -hmm. We actually graduated to a full-fledged university. Right. And uh, for the last seven years, we are actually a full-fledged public university mm -hmm. with now almost 7,000 students, mm -hmm. with now almost um, 400 staff, right. with now almost uh, actually eight schools. And what this space in the coming two months it will be a different story. We'll be having quite a number of students. Mm -hmm. We'll be growing the students from about 7,000 to around 10,000 by May. By May, that yeah. is, you're expecting the number to grow from 7,000 yeah, to 10,000. 10, That's amazing. Yeah. Now, I um, also want to ask about some of the courses you offer. Thank uh, you very much. Thank yeah. you very much. We are having eight schools. Mm -hmm. Mary University of Science and Technology has eight schools. The first school is called the Sky. Mm -hmm. That is School of Computing and Informatics. Right. where we do the certificate and diploma and bachelor's and master's and PhD. Mm -hmm. And the bachelor courses are about four. We have the Bachelor of Science Computer Science, we have Bachelor of Science in Computer Technology, we have Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, mm -hmm. and we have a Bachelor of Science. Probably we are the only public university that offer the fourth one, that is the Bachelor of Science in, in Forensic Science in the whole country we are the, the only one okay so yeah so mm. th that, that that's the first school we call it okay. sky sky then the second school is called c mm. that's the school of engineering mm. and architecture where we do the certificate diploma bachelor's master's and phd up there mm. but at the bachelor level we have currently three programs Right. Is the Bachelor of Technology in Electrical Electronic Engineering, Bachelor of Technology in uh, Civil Engineering, and Bachelor of Technology in Mechanical Engineering. Mm -hmm. We are soon launching Bachelor of Technology mm -hmm. in Architecture. Right. And then as it grows, it will graduate also to offering Bachelor of Science in the various uh, curricula that I've talked about. The third school mm -hmm. is the School of Education. Mm -hmm. uh, in the School of Education, we have three programs, three courses. We have the B.Ed. Art, those people who are teaching art, be it English, be it, uh, you know, history, those kind of things. Yeah. We also have B.A.C. Science, B.Ed. Science, like right. me, I'm actually a trained graduate teacher mm -hmm. of uh, mathematics, so I graduated the uh, Bachelor of Education in Science, double right. mathematics. Mm -hmm. uh, but the third one that we have just introduced, that is coming in May, is that this country we have so many TTIs, technical training institutes and polytechnics, right, yeah. and we don't have enough tutors. So mm -hmm. we have introduced another course, Bachelor of Technology, Bachelor of Education in Technology. Mm -hmm. 
and I think we are going to admit quite a number of students because there is actually a crisis in the country right now. We have a dearth, we have a shortage of the teachers that teach in TTI. So we are we are having that. That's our third school. The fourth school is what we call the SPAS, that is School of PU and Applied Sciences. Basically, we do all the natural sciences here. Be it the mathematics, be it the physics, be it the chemistry, be it the botany, be it the biochemistry, be it the zoology, right. and a combination of all that. Yeah. So, and actuarial science, mathematics, and computer, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. The next school is the School of Health Sciences. Health Sciences. Yeah, right. we want to, in this school, we have two programs for now. We have the BSc Public Health, and then the, the BSc Clinical Medicine. And you know, most of the doctors that Kenyans interact with, even you, the young people, most of the doctors you don't know, they're <laughs> actually clinicians. Yeah. We have very few qualified medical doctors with the medicine and what have you. Yeah. But the kind of people we interact with all the time, they're actually clinical clinicians. Mm -hmm. So we have BSc Clinical Medicine and BSc Public Health. Mm -hmm. And of course, Master of Public Health and PhD Public Health, just like that. Mm -hmm. The next school is school of what we call science. School of Nursing, where we do nursing, BSc nursing, but we have also just been approved as the Nursing Council of Kenya to offer the upgrading program. Those who already have diploma and are working in the nursing industries, they can now come and upgrade themselves for two or three years and get a BSc nursing. Oh, nice. I think that's what we have, and I think uh, mm -hmm. no, the, 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 the final school that I've not talked about is what we call the SAPS, mm -hmm. School of Agriculture and food sir. Right. We are very proud of this. Here we do the BAC horticulture, the BAC food science, the BAC agribusiness, the BAC, you know, uh, general agriculture mm -hmm. and all kind of things. And, and this is one of the best schools in Africa right now. One of the laboratories we have is actually recognized in the whole of the continent. That's the, okay. yeah, in food science. It's so good. It's yeah. very nice. So you recommend guys who are out there who I would love, I would doing. love, especially now that I'm talking with the, the young the people, young the people, youth yeah, who yeah. still want to be. If you want to do value addition, you want to work in places like UNICEF and what have you, yeah. nutrition, name it. The this place is the to be <laughs> is actually in this school. The Mary place to be, especially for nursing also, is actually this place. The place mm -hmm. to be for all these kind of courses I've said about. It's Mary University of Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. It's the University of Choice. Right. Now, it's Cultural Week at yeah. Mary University. I understand this is the last day right here. Yes. Uh, it's been a whole week. And um, I, I, the theme is yeah. enhancing unity and diversity. Yes. So, what does that mean to you? Thank you very much. <laughs> we are Kenyans. Yes. We are born into families, we are born into clans, we are born into tribes, mm -hmm. we are born into, you know, county, we are born into the country. Yeah. And, 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 uh, and Mary University of Science has all these kind of people. Yeah. A salad of all kind of the diversity that we have in this country. To be such a good steward, to create nations, to build, you know, build communities mm -hmm. together. In right. diversity, yeah. but that, that that we recognize our diversity as a strength mm -hmm. for making this university very strong. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, I have students from Poco, yeah. I have students from Mandera, I have yeah. students from Lamu, I have students from Homabe, I have students from Meru, mm -hmm. I have students from the whole of country, I have students out of Kenya who yeah. come here. And this mm -hmm. diversity, mm -hmm. why we have this cultural week is really to see. Mm -hmm how we can we, we are able to live with all these kind of people together yeah. to build and strengthen and make Mary University of Science mm -hmm. an excellent center yeah. of training at higher education. I think yeah. that's the essence. That's and the for essence. us even as Kenyans, you you <laughs> you know, we all people we have divided you into tribes, into political parties. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What we are trying to do is to tell you that you are human beings. You are together. You are God's creation. Yeah. You are my brothers and sisters. You are my sons and daughters. It doesn't matter whether you are a Kikuyu, you are a Meru, yeah. you are a Mjaluo, you are a what? We yeah. are all Kenyans. And that unity is what we need to really embrace. That's really important and yeah. people need to realize that. And that brings me to my next question. I was actually going to ask you that. The fact that you have 
different people from different backgrounds and our different ethnic our uh, different ethnic backgrounds um what are some of the ch- challenges as uh, a school do you go through uh just trying to make different people understand that they are one people let me tell you <laughs> you don't have any challenges oh, especially me as a ceo <laughs> Yeah, no. Let me start when I was in Jomo Kenyatta for 28 years, the last 10 years as a deputy vice chancellor of academic oh. affairs. And when there are politics, especially for these young people, the youth, mm-hmm. the president is here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we have learned from all the people. Yes. We, we, we marshal our voters in mm-hmm. terms of tribes, yes. tribes, tribes, mm-hmm. and that's a challenge sometimes. Mm-hmm. Number two, for me as a leader, when you do something, yeah. sometimes they see it in terms of tribe. Yet yeah. you are a vice chancellor for everyone. <laughs> for everyone. Kenyans will always use yeah. the spectacles of tribe uh-huh. to try to interpret whatever the CEO is. Everybody needs to adopt that. Now, um, I want to ask, like, there's so many institutions in Kenya right now that offer the same courses as you. Not all, but some, maybe most of the, yeah, all more similar courses. Now, what would you say makes uh, Mary University different from all these? Uh, hello, you. We are actually the center of Kenya. Yeah. In Meru. Mm-hmm. So, when you come from... You know, the border Kenya, Tanzania to Meru, you have just done the 50% of Meru, right. of Kenya. When you move from Meru to, you know, Ethiopia, Somali, Sudan, that's another 50%. Right. So one strength mm. is that we are the center of Kenya. Number two, Kenyans, we are, the whole world appreciate Mount Kenya. Mm. The three-quarter <laughs> of Mount Kenya is actually in Meru. Mm. Three weeks ago, we are the first mountainous game in the whole world. People came here from all over the world yeah. to appreciate and celebrate the beauty of Meru. Yeah. Meru University is just 10, 15 kilometers from Mount Kenya. Yeah. We are in the forest. <laughs> Very clean environment. Fresh air. Fresh air. <laughs> I'm just telling you the reasons why you should choose this place. Yeah. Why go to... I don't want to criticize, but why go to some of these stressed <laughs> places where the pollution will make you sick? Noise. Noise. Yeah. You can't sleep, you know? So this is one of the steps. But let me come to the, 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 the curriculum, the academic. We have been very thematic in terms of the programs that we offer. Mm-hmm. We offer eight programs, you know, eight schools. Yeah. I've told you them. Very thematic for the last seven, ten years. I mean, from 2009 up to now, maybe around 12 years. Very thematic. And that has helped us to build the capacity in terms of the resources. I've told you some of the labs we have are actually some of the best in the whole of Africa. This is my nursing skill lab. This is my food science laboratory. It's the best in in Africa. And then the kind of the classes we have had all this time. This makes it very good. But... Very importantly, Meru as a community, Meru as a county, has very entrepreneurial industries and staff. So our students, once they have learned in class, they also go outside and see practically what is happening. They don't have to say they want to go to Mombasa or Nairobi. Yeah. We have all these kind of things do you, around do you here. Do you offer, as an institution, do you offer um, internship, uh, do you offer internship for your students or after they are done, they go Our there. students, every <laughs> student has yeah. to go for internship. Mm-hmm. Every student, we are the only public university with an innovations and incubation center. Every student has opportunity. Once you have taught, I'm a professor of statistics, if I teach you how to choose a sample, how to do what, you also have time to meditate in, the, in our innovation park, in our incubation park, and think, how do I do? What else can I do? What else can I come to create some SMEs out of what I'm learning? This is the only university where you can do that because of our innovations, because of our incubations, because of our entrepreneurship center. In fact, one of the greatest employers we have is Mwangi Equity Bank. Yeah. Equity Bank, CEO, is our chancellor here. And he's the one who came up actually with this concept. 
that we start this. So most of the time we have our students, we bring entrepreneurs, we bring people from outside to train them on SMEs, to train them on how they can innovate, innovate and in the process to escalate yeah. their projects into commercial ideas. And this is the only place, the public university, where we are doing this. Right. Yeah. Uh, in our Facebook, in our Instagram, mm -hmm. I mean in our T in the T V. Yes. Yeah, all over. Yes. And uh and yes, to use the hashtag Y254 Campus yes. Tour. Yes. And thank you so much for talking to us. It's been a pleasure talking to him. He's the vice chancellor at Mary University. His name is Mr. Romanize Odiambo. I got the name right, yeah? Romanize. Well done. Well, you are very intelligent. <laughs> thank right. you very much and God bless you. All right, thank you so much. Do you have any parting shot? Uh, even shout outs. You know, do want to open up to Masalamu Kshamaliza. <laughs> I think I welcome all Kenyans mm -hmm. and everybody to Mary University of Science and Technology. I want all of us to be ambassadors of this great university. The university we love so much, the university which actually trains people on science, technology, and innovation, and incubations, and entrepreneurship. That's what I can say. And please market us all over and welcome right. to the university. You heard it right here from the horse's mouth. Yeah, if you, if, I, if I'm allowed to use that. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, guys. Uh, keep it Y254. We have such an amazing day and night planned here for you. You cannot even afford to miss this. The hashtag is Y254 Campus to talk to us at Philin June. And of course, don't forget to tag at Mary University and of course at Y254 channel. Um, we're going to be talking to you in just a while. Stay with us.